Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? It's true. I still kind of can't believe it myself, but I am indeed pregnant. I am just over five and a half months now, so halfway through. Uh, I'm really sorry I kept this from all of you for so long. I waited a while to announce because, well, there are actually lots of reasons I waited, but I mainly wanted to make sure that it was safe to announce this. And I also wanted to make sure that I told my friends and family in person first, well, as many as I could anyway. Another reason why we suddenly jetted off to New Jersey. This is going to be a very personal video in terms of my medical history, my personal life, and my husband's personal life, how we feel about all of this. And I just wanted to start off by saying that I know a lot of people, and I actually know a lot of people personally, that have had or are having a hard time conceiving. And most of these individuals are actually quite healthy and they are suddenly confronted with the fact that it's difficult to make a baby, which is so shocking and painful. And I really do deeply sympathize with everyone. Uh, pregnancy announcement videos aren't always the most positive and celebratory thing for everyone. It's sometimes a very unwelcome reminder. My situation is, weirdly enough, almost the opposite, where I was told that I would not be able to bear children from when I was 16 years old. And that was my absolute reality obviously until now. I'll explain more throughout this video, but I just wanted to express that I hope this video serves as a ray of hope to anyone trying to conceive. It is apparently not impossible, even though over a dozen doctors over the course of 17 years of my life have told me it's impossible. So I don't know where you are in your journey, but I want you to know that I'm rooting for you because it is not impossible. So my baby is due in November and it's actually due on Mike's exact birthday, which is just so bizarre. And as the title suggests, and like I just mentioned, this is an intense shocker because I was told I wouldn't be able to get pregnant for over half my life. I had a major emergency surgery procedure when I was 16 to remove a 11 plus pound cyst from my uterus. I've never talked about this publicly. I think I maybe briefly mentioned it in a table talk or something, but I certainly never went into any details. But I will here and now, since it is relevant. Here is the surgery scar from that time, and I've also had a bunch of laparoscopic surgeries afterwards to remove smaller cysts and fibroids that kept forming well into my college years and into my 20s. So, story time. When I was 16, I had really horrible menstrual cramps and really heavy bleeding. But I was told by a lot of people that periods really hurt sometimes and some people bleed a lot, blah, blah, blah. So I really didn't think anything of it. I thought it was normal. But one day I keeled over in pain after walking home from school and my mom brought me to a Japanese OBGYN that was practicing in New Jersey. Sidebar, she was awful. If I were to have a true mortal enemy in this life, it would be her. She started by asking me in front of my mom if I am sexually active and I wasn't, so I told her that, but then she kind of proceeded to suggest why on earth I would need to see an OBGYN if I wasn't sexually active. I explained to her that I'm in a lot of pain and I think I'm bleeding more than usual, so can you just please check me out? She did not do a full exam on me. She did not do an ultrasound or a sonogram. She just prodded my stomach around and then told me that I was simply exaggerating my pain and she asked one more time if I was sexually active. Again, I told her no because it's the truth and then she turned to my mom and told her that I am just exaggerating my pain and then she looked at me, told me to buck up, 
and sent me home. Fast forward six months, I was constantly dizzy, my periods became extremely irregular, I was bleeding more than ever, and I doubled over in pain again after coming home from school, so my mom brought me to a new OBGYN where I explained my symptoms and they did a full ultrasound exam on me, and the doctors immediately found the ridiculously huge cyst that had been growing in my uterus for the past half a year. It was so big that they couldn't even see my ovaries in the scan, and they explained to me that I'm gonna need emergency surgery within the next 24 hours. So I was sent home to pack a hospital bag, and I was instructed not to eat so they can operate on me as soon as possible. This doctor, my new OBGYN, who is also my life-saving surgeon, was furious because she mentioned that any doctor should have been able to find this long ago with a proper exam. It should never have been left alone to grow to this crazy size. And she even mentioned that she had no idea how I was even walking. And to be entirely honest, it didn't hurt all the time. I could just always feel its pressure when I walked and I always had to go to the bathroom all the time, which was actually one of the biggest indicators. But I wasn't necessarily gaining a ton of weight, and it's not as though my abdomen and stomach looked very distended. I just kind of looked full and bloated all the time. Basically, the cyst pushed my organs up and to the side in order to accommodate space. Anyway, the very next morning at 5 a.m., I was wheeled into the hospital and prepped for surgery. Obviously, the surgery went well. I am still alive. However, since it was an emergency surgery, my uterus, my right ovary, and fallopian tube and bladder were heavily affected. I have permanent nerve damage across my entire stomach. I can't feel a thing an inch above or below my scar. I have a lot of scar tissue inside of my uterus. And because my bladder was impacted for so long, I forever since then have had to go to the bathroom like three or four times more than a normal person. If you've ever hung out with me in real life, you know that I'm always in the bathroom. Unfortunately, my body continued to grow little cysts and fibroids throughout the years, which were now easy to recognize, and I've had them routinely removed via laparoscopy and hormone medications. All very manageable, but because of my first surgery and apparently having a tendency to grow lots of cysts for no reason, Every doctor has told me that I wouldn't be able to make or grow a baby. Lots of different solutions were suggested to me, like surrogacy and obviously adoption, but I was young and having a baby was absolutely not at the forefront of my mind. I just grew up with this reality, and I slowly but surely came to terms with the fact that I won't be having children naturally, as in I won't ever be the one to be pregnant. And that doesn't mean never having a family or fantasizing about one. I was always aware and open to options like adoption if we ever really, really suddenly wanted children. It never really hurt my feelings or damaged me in any way. I was never devastated over that news, and I don't ever think I was really in denial over it either. And lo and behold, I've been with Mike for over a decade now, and this is a little bit TMI, but it's not like he and I were ever particularly careful at any time, and I never got pregnant until now, at the ripe age of 33. My OBGYNs here in Japan are completely stunned because they can all see the scar tissue that's inside of my uterus, They've even shown me that there are pockets of my right ovary and fallopian tube that are either damaged or missing. As such, I have been tagged as a high-risk pregnancy, which really just means that I'm going to go to more exams than other pregnant people, and I will most likely have a C-section, which really isn't a problem because my first surgery was basically like a C-section. And as of my last OBGYN visit, the baby is very healthy and growing at a normal rate. 
I am as healthy as I can expect to be. Uh, my blood pressure is super low and I am a little bit anemic, uh, but that's not really that strange. I've always had a slight iron deficiency. I have been extra dizzy and kind of fainty ever since I entered my second trimester, but overall quite healthy. And now I can tell you that I actually went to New Jersey to not only tell friends and family, but we also went to go get an NIPT done, which isn't really offered here in Japan. Well, they do offer it in major select cities, but it costs about $2,000 here. Whereas in the US, it's only about $349. In New Jersey, you also have to get an ultrasound, which is about like 200 bucks without insurance. But yeah, still so worth it, so we had it done there, and everything came back super low risk, and again, healthy baby. Speaking of, there are actually a lot of interesting differences between how pregnancy is treated in the US versus in Japan, so I thought I would document my pregnancy journey and show you what it's like to be pregnant here in Japan. So I hope you'll keep watching and join me in navigating all of this here. It's actually a huge relief to be able to reveal to you guys that I'm pregnant. I'm at a size where it's pretty impossible to hide it any longer, so I feel like I can shoot vlogs more freely and honestly now, which is really nice. Speaking of honesty, I am, or was, very, very freaked out. Uh, a lot of you know this already, but my husband and I are childhood friends. We are very close, we always have been, and he has always known that I wouldn't be able to bear children, and we were both very okay with that. But now that it's happening, it's really amazing to realize that our DNA is going to be in our child. I never really gave that concept any thought, because why would I? But now that it's happening, it's, it's truly, incredible. And you know, I'm already at five and a half months now, so I've had a lot of time to ruminate on this, but it's really intense to have your reality rocked like this. I'm just now finally coming to terms and recognizing that it won't just be my husband and I, and that I'm growing a human. I really didn't think we'd get to go on this journey together. I don't know why I'm crying now. Um, Hormones are crazy. I really don't want to mess up my makeup though, because I feel like I did a really good job today. Why aren't there any tissues? <laughs> There's never any useful things around me. All right, this is fine, right? Do I look okay? Oh, now I can't take the thumbnail photo. <laughs> I feel like my face just exploded. Anyway, now that I'm all weepy, I think that is gonna be it for this announcement video. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave me any questions in the comments below and I will try to answer them in my next video where I'll also be showing some snippets from the last few months and the gender reveal. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I'm excited to continue sharing more with you, so I'll see you in my next video. Sanja matta ne!